come to, to develop cutting edge biomedical technologies to manage health conditions. We create computational models of people's neuromusculoskeletal system and then we apply that to design surgeries for paediatric conditions like cerebral palsy, better design of surgeries, design printing of implants, printing of the surgical instrumentation, through to neurorehabilitation where we be a one-stop shop. To my knowledge this is the world's first. So we're integrating all these different therapies that have shown to be promising in spinal cord injury and we're making it better. These kind of thought activated therapies with pharmacology and electrical stimulation, we have evidence that it works. The idea is the one of neuroplasticity. We know that we can remap our nervous system. We are using a brain computer interface. We are interpreting that data using artificial intelligence. That thought is then sent to a digital twin of the person. The digital twin controls the rehabilitation device. The person is more empowered, has control over the rehabilitation and understand there is that missing connection is being re-established. So in five years, I really hope to have a working therapy. Maybe in five years, I'll be standing up talking to you about this. 10% of all wrist injuries have this ligament injury. We're talking about a, a young, active person who's working independently in his 20s starts to get pain and by mid-30s they start to lose function. What we're trying to recreate is a ligament scaffold that is customized to the patient that is seated with cells so it's like a live ligament. So we're able to print what we call a hard soft print which is more able to accurately represent bone mixed with cartilage and how they move. When you get it right it's, it's euphoric. This is definitely a flagship project. So what we would like to be able to do for any type of clinical problem have a digital representation of the individual and so that means we can represent their anatomy, their mechanics and even their, their tissue biology and then we can precision design or manufacture that product. If you get all these disciplines together and create this platform it could make a big change in sports injuries and orthopedics. What we're trying to do is develop smart wearable technology which we're going to combine with these models of the musculoskeletal system that are personalized to the patient and artificial intelligence to retrain people with hip osteoarthritis to move in this beneficial way. The digital athlete allows the coach and the support staff to really look internally and really close at the individual athlete. Seeing it at a cellular level, you know, the load that it's putting on the athlete, biomechanical movements. The exciting thing is that it'll be in real time. It'll revolutionize the way we can coach athletes. We are putting biosensors into people living with an amputation. What we're trying to do is finding the ways to make the prosthesis adapting to the person and not the person adapting to the prosthesis. To make the fitting of the bionic prosthesis more efficient, so how much people can work better. We are extremely precise, which is a, a real game changer in surgery. We have a unique mechanism of action when it comes to tissue cutting, um, pressure-induced tissue resection. We send very short pulses of light to the tissue, and the tissue, instead of burning and peeling, ejects in nanoparticles. So we can spare vital structures such as nerves and blood vessels. So better patient recovery, less pain post-op, less bleeding, less scarring. I think we're going to be able to create a device here where the heart won't fail anymore. Uh, the patient can be then reliant on the heart that is being implanted to them uh, for the rest of their life. Central to the device is one spinning disc, and that uh, spinning disc is the only thing that's moving, and it's um, levitated in a magnetic field. It enables the disc to spin in free space, and therefore there's no ability for there to be any mechanical wear. The Gold Coast uh, Health and Knowledge Precinct doesn't exist very often around the world where you've got a university, a hospital, and an innovation space within walking distance of each other, particularly having the cohort space close by to Griffith University and uh, one of the you know, world leading laboratories for uh, kind of the work that we're doing. But it almost is a no brainer. The Gold Coast had some unique um, you know, value add uh, benefits to our company particularly linked to the laser expertise within Griffith University. And second to that as well is the uh, major hospitals that are located here on site. We're globally headquartered out of Silicon Valley, but what's very important is that you can attract talent. So we've got this combination of everything in one place, which I'm not so sure is replicated anywhere else. You get the right people jammed into a close space and they'll produce creative things. I don't know how I got so lucky. How lucky am I to be in this place at the end of this time? Um, in this institution, in this city, it's just, 
you know, it's fate. We don't get this very tight location and the passion to actually collaborate as a group of completely different disciplines. It's really just a step change, it's disruption for the health industry.